Oh, là, c'est... Group C. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Actually, before you watch this video, I would like you to know that this video is pre-recorded. So this video was supposed to go live on my channel. That was way back last year. However, I bought a new phone and whilst I was exchanging, I mean, the SIM card and the SD card, I misplaced it only for me to find it yesterday. So there might be videos that were supposed to be posted that you would see now but it was pre-recorded i hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope this video inspired you guys and it motivates new moms or even moms out there because i filmed it whilst i was pregnant so it's just a q a questions between me myself and um, my friend today's video tim is going to ask me questions about the pregnancy my experiences, the advantages and disadvantages, and uh, you know, every woman, pregnant woman is different. Her sister also recently had a baby. Congratulations mm -hmm. once again to her. So she's just, we're gonna, just going to compare the pregnancies and uh, what probably I could learn from her sister's pregnancy. Maybe my next second born, what I would probably do and what I would not do, or even my what i would have done differently because there are some certain things i didn't know and uh, mm. i got to know later by my mom and you know friends that have already had their babies so yes yeah, so let's just get straight into the video i'm talking too much yeah so oh, my, my and oh question. sorry we have a mcdonald's oh yeah this is plain fish fillets and i'm having orange juice with it and uh plain chicken mayo I don't know if you guys can see it, plain chicken there. And she's also having apple, Rap. what's that? Apple pie. Apple pie as well. Did you check the expiry date? Yeah. Okay. And uh, <laughs> she's having chicken wrap. Chicken wrap. What did I say? Group C. <laughs> guys, just take it like that, yeah? Whatever, uh, whether it's crispy or it's crispy or whatever, it's chicken. I mean, the fried chicken. <laughs> That's what is in. And uh, with what? What do you have anyway? With orange, what's that? It's Fanta. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Fanta. A large Fanta. And uh, yes, this is what we're having. So let's start. So she's just going to ask questions. Pregnancy mukbang. Yeah. Basically. Basically. So she's just going to ask me questions and then I'll answer them. So, so let's begin. First question. Mm-hmm. Don't make me laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> first question. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing mm -hmm. you craved mm -hmm. when you found out you were pregnant? I think that was um, Wache. I hope you guys know what Wache is. I mean, rice and beans. Wache. You've already, we've done a, a video on that mm -hmm. Myself and Timini. You guys, we we'll just link it somewhere. You guys should watch it. So that was what I was craving. That was the first food I was craving. I was craving for um, watch it with a shito. You know what shito yeah. is like? The dark black pepper. I wanted a hot one. Hmm. I don't like spicy food, but for some reason, I just came to love spicy food, and it has to be very, very, very spicy. If not, I can't eat it. So you started liking spice foods in your pregnancy? Yes. Even though I, I don't like spicy food. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Very. So what <laughs> another question. Yeah. What is one thing that you used to like before you got pregnant? Mm -hmm. Now you don't like it. I would say uh oh no, not rice. I still eat. I would say fried rice. You've gone off it. Yeah. I don't, like, I, I can do it at home, but I, I can't eat it. And I just don't like the smell. I just, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'll like it after birth. But for now, no, it's a no-no. No fried rice for me. No salad, no fried mm. rice, no. So I smells just, make you sick. Uh, and, oh, God, I just can't start. And perfumes. Desmond, I love the perfumes that we use. Even mine. The ones that I feel okay with is the, um, what's it called? 
Le Vie Belle. That perfume is my number one perfume mm. before pregnancy. And still, I love when I put on my. I don't. I feel okay. You know, it's not strong. Yeah. But when I put other perfumes or Desmond uses his perfume, it which I was sick. okay with, I feel sick. At a point, he couldn't get closer to me because he has used them. And I, when I said, oh, God, I told him, no, don't come close. So, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. And sometimes I don't know how he feels. Me, I, I'll do a separate video with him just so I can know what was how, uh, how he felt about the whole pregnancy. Because I know there are some things that I did that I don't even realize that I was doing. Mm. So just to know, maybe next time I can, you know, I can't even reduce it, can I? Charlie, hey, it's pregnancy symptoms. Let's just take it like that. But yeah, uh, perfumes and I would say um, the fried rice. Just rides. smells. Smells, yeah. I just can't stand it. So when you cook, does the smell put you off, the food? Yes, and I, and I will not eat it. Like mm. oil, you can fry chicken in my house no I, I just can't stand the oil mm. because the scent just uh, makes me sick mm. yeah okay so in terms of pregnancy mm -hmm. so far mm -hmm. how would you describe it in three words experience of being pregnant carrying a child knowing you're having a baby how would you describe it three words mm -hmm. How can I spell this word in three ways? Okay, do an essay then. <laughs> no essay. <laughs> I'll just say that I I I would not say I'm lucky, but I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. That's how I put it. It's a blessing, even though that uh, there there had been times that I felt like I don't want to do this anymore because of the pains, but it's a blessing. Uh, that's how I see it. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that excites you about? motherhood like seeing your child the whole i mean i think it's when they are little you know when they are small and i don't know but maybe not the breastfeeding because i don't know how your nipples are going to be it's going to be painful <laughs> or i don't know how the feelings because i'm now about to experience it but just having them in your arms like i've always wanted kids do you mm -hmm. get it and you know sister felicia's son jeremiah I've, i was there when he was born like little and i've seen all the process and all and sometimes it could be very 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 uh what was the word stressful because challenging. yeah challenge because you need to change the nappies the, the moment you change it then the child will poo again and then you have to change it and sometimes i'm like can i really do this but at the point, I'm like, even my mom has done it. Mm. So women have done it. So many women have done it. And even this is the police has also done it. And I can do it. So mm -hmm. you get it. So it's quite easy when you experience it when someone has a baby and you, you've seen how things work. Mm. Rather than you not knowing anything at all. So I think it, it would not be easy, but yeah, we could get through it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of baby, mm -hmm. for your first child, did you want a boy? Or a girl. That's good. Uh, that's why if you watch this video, don't get angry. I wanted a girl, not because um my mom didn't have um, a boy before us, but I just I don't know. It's I feel I don't know. Boys are nice, but I'm a girl. I'm a woman, and I just want <laughs> to have you know doing the hair, you know talking, being best friends, and I don't know, you know having that. I just can't <laughs> explain this further, but I just wanted to have a girl. But, um, yeah, I'm having a boy and it's still okay. I'm happy about it. I am happy because uh, I know for sure that it's even better when you come to, I mean, let's say, put it in the African, you know. How it works when you're an African. The, I mean, pay, the, the grandparents would want you to have a baby boy. Because oh. when you have a boy first... They feel like he's going to be the head if the father is not around or if the parents are not okay. around. Because, yeah, what men can do, women can do. But it's not the same thing. Do you get what I mean? Mm. What boys can so do. So it's to... a cultural thing. Exactly. So I don't really mind, but I would have still been happy if it was a girl. You know. Maybe the feeling would have been different. But, yeah, I'm still happy. Because my first can... Honestly speaking, I didn't know it was a boy or a girl, but I just said to myself, that baby is a boy. Hmm. I don't know, but it's, 
maybe I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, but I'm happy I'm having a boy. You can have a girl next. Yeah, it it must be a girl who. If not, hey, I think this will have to take him for checkup. <laughs> it has to be a girl, please. So at least it will balance. You know, you have one. I also have one. Right now, there are going to be two boys in the house. Can you imagine? So in terms of preparing, yeah, how has been preparing for a baby? Have you sorted out the stuff? Have you got the room? Oh, you mean the room? I told you we were asking if we prepared for the baby or not. Uh, the room not yet. We can ask that question now, actually. <laughs> okay, let me answer that one first. We do not plan for the whole baby thing. We did not plan this at all. <laughs> you, I, on my wedding day, I know my father has already prophesied that we're going to have a baby. He even said twins. So that was the reason why I was thinking I'm, I was going to have twins. Um, a year by this, we'll have twins. So I was just... It, it was something that I didn't fully believe it because we had our plans. And our plans was we were going to wait for at least six to a year, six months to a year, and then we'll possibly, you know, have the baby. Because we had other plans, traveling, doing stuff, our projects and all that. And we've mm -hmm. not done any till now because I'm pregnant, so we can't really do much. We'll possibly do it maybe next year, God willing. And uh, yeah, so we didn't plan for it. So about the prophecy and also me and AJ, I don't know if you guys are going to watch this video, but I think you guys did something. I don't know what prayer you said for me when I donated, when I made some donations to giving back to mothers. So, uh, yeah, I gave back to mothers and uh, I didn't pray. I didn't ask God for anything. In fact, I didn't tell God that I was ready, but God knew that I was ready. <laughs> God knew that it was the right time. So um, we got married in October. And then we found out, we literally didn't even know that I was pregnant because I am not, uh, when, during my period, I'm not a regular person. So when I missed my period in December, I knew that possibly my period will come the following months because I, as I said, it's not regular. But in the middle of January, I just wasn't feeling well one night. It was the pains was very 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 painful. I even thought that oh my period was coming. It was normally when it um, in a month it comes and the following month it doesn't. I felt that pain, so I was just you know okay. Just that it was the period was very was double plus what I normally had go through. So I was I wasn't thinking I was pregnant at all. But Desmond was so hundred percent sure. He said no, babe, you've missed your period. You are pregnant. So we took a uh, pregnancy test like twice or even more and then they were all positive. I even went to see the doctor and they told me straight away, you are pregnant. So <laughs> I, I took it in good faith. I was happy because, um, you know, I've always loved babies. I wouldn't mind having them anytime or anytime mm -hmm. soon. But uh, Desmond wasn't, not for the fact that he wasn't happy, but it was because we had plans and things were going to change and he didn't know how this whole pregnancy was going to be, how I was going to react. So let's say it really affected him mentally. And uh, at the beginning it was quite difficult, but later on he got used to it. Yeah. And he's been there ever since. So yeah. So now <laughs> answer the second bit of the question. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So mm, the baby preparations. Mm. So have you got everything? No. Everything I think uh it's left with just few stuff which i need i know that i don't need it now let's say when the baby comes that's when probably probably i will know if i'll need it that time okay. or not but for the rest of it, i think friends and family have helped quite a lot she including herself they've really helped us by getting the clothes for the baby and um we've got the cots We've got mom brought us uh, the, what's it, what's it called? The, the Moses, Moses basket. Yeah, basket. It's like, let's literally, most of the stuff that we were supposed to get before the baby arrives, they have helped us to get, this, get it. And uh, we are so blessed to have, you know, people like them in our lives because not everyone would go all out to do stuff for you. And, um, you know. I wouldn't say we are lucky, we are just blessed and we thank God for their lives. God bless them. So just say a prayer for Timini whenever you see, when you see this video, if you've watched up to this point, just say a prayer for her Amen. and, uh, you know, thank God for her life. We are so grateful for them. 
you know so yeah we've got some stuff i wanted to paint the room blue not blue because, and I, was, because I was thinking of having a baby girl hmm. i didn't want a pink wall but then green like you know green like your wedding color yeah the green or either gray mm -hmm. and then having the elephant i'm so in love with the elephant yeah. and all the gifts that came it elephant. was so funny <laughs> they were all they all had elephants on it i was like oh god it looks as if everyone knew what i wanted it all has elephants i don't know but i just love the animal elephant now i don't know why i don't know yeah so yeah that's how it's gonna be but we'll paint the room maybe uh we're thinking of i was thinking that desmond would have done it today but he's not in today so we'll do it maybe a week later or two yeah but yeah that's how the room is gonna be mm -hmm. green not green blue uh gray so it's gonna be the white wall but the elephant sign will be there oh okay. and then the other you know little animals so are you gonna do a room tour for them uh yeah i might do if we finish the whole thing yes i will do it but not now it's not complete now so i'll say no yeah yeah and uh yeah so you recently had your baby shower mm -hmm. so thanks to you guys what was your your highlights your favorite mm -hmm. moments or hmm. like your favorite gifts that you got maybe or i don't i don't think i had a favorite gift i'll say oh we really we weren't expecting those gifts so i'll say that we appreciate everything we loved all the gifts and um the only person who went all out and she exaggerated as always is my mom she got oh she got this baby stuff both uh boy and girl wow i don't know maybe she she wants us to start planning for the baby girl okay already. <laughs> that's how this <laughs> works today so i was like ah, why, why why did she bring i mean baby uh baby or maybe girl. she thinks it's two in there that's what maybe two i don't know we're having one but we may never know you know god does miracles so <laughs> So she brought this baby girl's stuff and boy and you know she was one of the person that we were we knew that she, she was going to exaggerate but with the other people i mean they were all generous and you know yeah mm -hmm. and uh, Josephine apart told from me that was a boy oh really that's how i knew oh okay maybe she 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 got to know from the scan the last one oh but i looked at it up i've looked at it and i still can't realize okay because she is into you know She's not a nurse, but she what's she doing at the moment? I think she's studying. I don't know. She's into the you know doctor. Okay. She's trying to do something. So like she that. knew. So she knew. She just saw it from the picture, and I've looked at the picture billions, and I can't realize that it was it was a baby boy. So everyone is different. Shout out to Josephine. Yeah, Josephine. Mm. <laughs> Get ready. Eh? During the labor, you have to be in my house somewhere somehow. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, and also the decorations was nice. Mm. The whole setup. I mean, I wanted more food, baby, not small, small chops. Maybe I wanted proper food, like watchy. I was so hundred percent sure that you guys were gonna prepare jollof for watchy for me to eat. And then I got there and they were like, ah, small chops meat. I was like, oh, these people didn't think about me. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoyed what, what every day. McDonald's. Yeah, I ate McDonald's. <laughs> fish fillet plain fish fillet so uh yeah everything was nice from the beginning to the end you know i really enjoyed the part two next week wednesday i hope this video inspired you guys and motivate you guys thank you for watching and god bless